What's up? What's up? It's a man. A man. Everyone wants to see. Wants to see. That ain't too that tight, ain't right? Don't forget to click that subscribe button for me and also turn on post notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos when I post. Had to ride with my homeboys, had the gun out the window. I be blowing like Endo. Hold up. Play your bitch like Nintendo. If you can't play me, you see me. Niggas hate wanna be me. Pull up fit on the block. Get the bustin' like Jeezy. Niggas swear that they hot, but they snitch the police. Niggas say that they gangsta. What's good, YouTube? So, man, last night, your boy played one of, I guess you could say, one of the best man players out there on the PSN. <laughs> on the PlayStation Network, I'm fucking sleep. But yeah, man, shout out to Lit Dog, man. That's that's my guy right there. That's my little hot potato right there. But yeah, man, this nigga Lit Dog. Hey y'all, hey, it's it was like three, four o'clock in the morning. He was so pressed. <laughs> and it was like, hey y'all, you wanna play mad? I was like, man, hey, I ain't played mad in like four or five years. I don't know, no defensive scenes. I don't know how to change formations. I don't know how to do none of that bullshit. Not none of the playbook, play clock, none of that shit. And man, just let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, man. Just watch the video full through. And uh, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoy it. I'm not gonna wrap y'all up, man. But Dead A2 TV versus Lit Dog 99. This was definitely a good game, man. But you know, uh, Lit Dog let a scumbag whoever played Madden like that. And actually, this is my first game at Madden. Uh, what's this, Madden 20? Yeah, I never even went to tutorials. I didn't even, oh man, fuck that shit, man. But yeah, just watch the video, y'all. Let me know if Lit Dog was some trash in this joint or not. Alright. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. How the fuck are you stiff on this shit? And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line. You know what I'm saying? Last year. First down for the Falcons. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Ryan going to give to Freeman on the draw. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 14 yards there, and a Falcon first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. 21! 
Ryan. Let's go. From the shotgun, Ryan. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. On second down, Freeman. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On third down, Ryan escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Watch the whip. They'll run for it. It's Freeman. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. A gain of six there on first. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Ryan's throw caught by Jones, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to the running game, it's Freeman. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Unable to stop KJ right there as he slips by for the sack. Yo, I thought that was a fucking running play. I'm sleep. So the sack pushes him back. And now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. From the gun, it's Ryan. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. And his kick is indeed good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. 3-0 after one on EA Sports.
Here's second and seven now from the 28. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. They'll roll him out right. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. The sack coming from Adrian Claiborne off the edge. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Last play, they got stumped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. Now it's Carson, and he's across the chalk, into the end zone, touchdown Seahawks. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Seahawks have taken the lead. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. It'll be a loss of a yard. And just like that, it's third down. And it's third. 61, matchbox flight. Now Ryan. Stocker's got it. Complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. 
fans a reminder I have a note card here that says ad lib halftime previews so I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime did I do okay we did great not a bad job hey but, you know writing down your ad -libs. if you print it I'm gonna read it I'm Brandon Goddard five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Check, 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 check. Mike 54. Mike 54. Second and five now. Ryan toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Bradley McDougal that time able to knock it away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And it's complete, Hooper. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 33 yards that time. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Ryan leads with Freeman on the draw. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. Complete to Jones. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. They'll look to run with Freeman. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and goal. Ryan, and he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Austin Hooper in the final seconds of the first half, and the Falcons have retaken the lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime break in half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. 
They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to face a third down. It's now third down and four. What? Lenny? You got nothing today. You got nothing. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Tech McKinley made his way into the backfield. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Check 13. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. On third down, Ryan. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. The good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. It's caught. Jones. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Under 10, under 10, 10. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. On third and one, Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Oh, 
They'll run here with Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Falcons push further out in front. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Oh, they'll try the sweep. It's Lockett with it. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Second and five now. Wilson sliding out of the pocket. It's caught. Lock it. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now it's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A very solid gain of 27. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll come out in the pistol. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. From the gun, Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett there to make the grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three point game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? 
the timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns, so this game is flipped. They were down, now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode, had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack, or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Check 99. Check 99. Get up. Now Freeman. He's been busy today. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. This is Freeman on first and 10. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Will be Freeman. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A 20th carry now for Devontae Freeman. Finding room to the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. 39. Switch, switch, switch. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Call it a gain of nine there, and it puts him in better shape here for second and goal. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Freeman and he gets in touchdown Atlanta Devontae Freeman his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Falcons push further out in front now they'll line up to kick the extra point and his guys will take a 10-point lead
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. <laughs> Now Wilson. This complete to lock it. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Wilson to throw. He'll find Metcalf. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Falcons. And say what you want about Century League Field up in Seattle, but for my money, this is the loudest and most difficult. Hey, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even play that at dog. And, and I just beat you like that. They make noise and understand when to make noise and understand the game as well as anyone. And how about when we get in our our man? GG, boy. Ah, oh, shoot. I just beat you. I, I think I got to keep continue playing that and all. Did they draw against the opposing reason. team because of that fan yeah, support? Yeah. And last but not least, they designed the stadium yeah. to keep the noise in, and it works. But not in this one. Shoot, it's, this, this game, hey, look, this game was too good for me not to put this shit on my YouTube channel, bro. Look at them stats. Look at them stats. 146 rushing yards to 68. This nigga, I, you averaged one yard more than me. Per uh per carry or whatever shit was. Shit, I was mixing it up. Oh shit, you you went you went you went to run the clock out, bro. You took forever with that damn clock. Like you missed the whole first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you couldn't stop me that first quarter. That, that's what it was. I, I, My nigga Matt Ryan. He threw for 111 yards. Yeah. Let me see play stats. You had more stuff because you didn't throw a pick like I did. You threw one touchdown, two, one interception. Completion rate, yeah. Let's go to rushing. 22 attempts, 141 yards. Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. You had rushing dang, attempts, ten attempts, thirty-two yards. Look, listen, ten attempts, thirty-two yards. What was my joint? Twenty-two attempts, one hundred forty-one yards. How many? Uh, you averaged three yards a game per uh three three yards. Let's see, wide receiver. Two, I, had two I ain't never used Julio like that. I mean, he averaged the most. My nigga had three catches, 38 yards. I, I don't even know who that nigga is, dog. Brody White not even on the team no more. All right, GG, dog. That was a, uh, that was a GG.